Grade 8 math number 3.3D, functions from equation to table. Okay, this is a new video. It's the new version. The first one, someone said they had trouble understanding it, so I'm remaking it. So we know that a function is an output-input relationship that has exactly one input, or x, for each output y. We learned that in, eighth, in uh, sixth grade, didn't we? So if our input, which is x, is 2, and our function, our equation with two variables, is y equals 3x, when we put the 2 as x here, that's going to be 3 times 2 instead of 3 times x, because 2 is taking the place of x. That's going to give us an output of 6. It's going to equal 6. That's what y is going to stand for. And each separate number that we put in is going to have one output. See, for each input is a particular output. So this equation shows the constant rate of change multiply by 3. It can also be written with addition and subtraction operations like plus 1 or minus 2, plus 5, minus 6, whatever, at the back end of it. And this number, this coefficient, that's our constant, okay? So when we're given an equation like this, we can create a table of values from it. So if we're given y equals 3x plus 1, we can actually make a table of values from this equation. And we can start with 1 to make it easy, and any numbers can go into this table as long as it makes this equation true. I could use 10,000, 20,000 if I wanted to. I'm going to start with 1 and make it easy on myself. So if x equals 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, isn't it? See? When they're next to each other, that means multiply. So 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So y will equal 4. See? If x equals 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So y will equal 7. If x equals 3, then y will equal 10. See? 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. And if x equals 4, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, y will equal 13. Any numbers can go into that table as long as it makes the equation true and correct. We can even write the table vertically this way, because then we can see ordered pairs. These are our x values and our y values. All we have to do is put parentheses around them, and we see our ordered pairs that we could plot on a coordinate plane. See that? So, I know you're used to seeing it this way, but this way is a lot easier, okay? Let's take a look at this one. This function, this equation, is y equals x plus 2. Any numbers can fit in here as long as it makes this true. So I'm going to start with a 1 to make it easy. If x were 1, it would be 1 plus 2. y would be 3. See? It's going to equal y. y is 3. If x is a 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. y is a 4. If x is 3, see these are all the x values. If x is a 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. y equals 5. If x represents 4, then that's 4 plus 2. y equals 6. See? Any numbers can go in there as long as it makes the equation true. If we've got y equals 5x minus 4, we can start with 1 to make it easy, and any numbers can go in here as long as it makes it true. So if x is a 1, that's 5 times 1, that's 5. 5 minus 4 is a 1. So it's a 1, 1. And if x is e equal to 2, then that's 5 times 2 is 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. y equals 6. And if x is equal to 3, then 5 times 3 is 15, minus 4 is 11. And if x is equal to 4, then that's 5 times 4 is 20, minus 4, that's 16. See? That's not hard, is it? And if you need to go past 0 to the left, into the negatives, or if you need to go bigger this way, your table could go on for infinity in either direction. All you have to do is make the table bigger and fill it out. We could have x equals 0. 5 times 0 is 0. And minus 4, 0 minus 4 would be minus 4. See? So this is what we're doing to the coefficient, and this is what it's going to equal. See? Now, if you're really lost or confused, then you need to go back to video 3.1a, in this playlist, in this grade 8 playlist, and learn about proportions and their relationships, and then watch each video in this grade 8 playlist after that one, and then you'll be okay. You can't walk into the middle of a movie at a movie theater and then get upset that you don't know what's going on, see? 
So my advice would be if you're really, really confused or even semi-confused, go back to 3.1a. Start watching those videos and catch up. Fill in all the uh, empty holes that you missed, okay? Then you'll really have a light bulb over your head and you'll really know what's going on and you'll be teaching other people, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.